Izzy and Rolly too. Marky and Wendy joined the crew. Bob and the gang had so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can! Hey, Hilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Yeah! Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder. Left a bit, right a bit, around a bit, down a bit, gently now. There. Good job, Lofty. There you go, Travis. No problem, Bob. Travis Tractor's my name. Moving loads is my game. All right, Travis. Now, are we all ready? Dizzy? Dizzy. Earth calling Dizzy. Come on, Dizzy. It's time to get to work. And you, Scoop. Ready when you are, Bob. All right, team. Let's hit the road. Can we dig it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Um, yeah, I think so. Where is that cat? It's not like her to be late for her breakfast. Ah, uh, can you see Pilchard anywhere? Pray not, Wendy. Well, uh, she won't have gone far. Not really, really far. <coughs> hey, Bird. I know cats aren't your thing, but Pilchard won't hurt you. All right, team. This is the place. Oh, oh, we're a bit close to the field where that scarecrow is. Something always goes wrong when Spud's around. What, my pal Spud? Don't worry about him, Lofty. He just likes to have fun, that's all. <laughs> yeah, come on, Lofty, big softy. <laughs> okay, okay, we got a job to do, remember? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Um, yeah, I think so. Jeez, bud. Good work, Scoop. Drop it there. Okay, Luffy, in you go. Pilchard! <laughs> Pilchard! I'll bet Pilchard's off snoozing somewhere. She won't even know how worried Wendy is. Wendy doesn't need to worry, because Pilchard will come back when Pilchard comes back. Pilchard! Pilchard! Well, that was a silly place to look, Wendy. Okay, Lottie. Just, um... Uh, put it down gently next to the hole. Oh, no! Well, oh, no, no. Bye, bye. Well, careful. Careful. Phew, that's better. Oh. Easy, Lofty. You nearly dropped it there. Phew, time for a rest, I think. And there's another hole that needs carefully filling. The hole in my tummy. Sandwiches, yum. Let's see. Letters to open, phone calls to make, faxes to send. And what am I doing? I'm looking for a missing kitty. Hello? Bob's Building Yard. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Mrs. Hardacre. Yep. Yeah, you could come and have a look at it tomorrow. That's fine. Shall we say about three o'clock? Great. Okay, bye. Well, I give up. I just don't know where that cat is. Unless... He went with Bob. Mm, mm, oh. mm, 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 mm. Oh. Hello? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Bob? Hello? Hi, Bob. Oh, at last. I couldn't get hold of you. It's Wendy. Listen, Pilchard's disappeared. She's not with you, is she? With me? Um, no. No, no cat here, Wendy. Wake you from a nap, did I? No, it wasn't me that yawned. Perhaps Lofty had a late night, or Scoop, or Dizzy. Anyway, don't worry, Wendy. I'm sure she'll turn up when she's ready. Cats are very uh, independent, you know? Hmm, I suppose so. But it's not like Pilcher to miss her breakfast. Anyway, I'll see you later, Bob. Okay, Wendy. See ya. <sighs> All right, you lazy bunch. Coffee break's over. Come on, Lofty. We've got a pipe to lay. Oh, oh, okay, Bob. I'm glad that scarecrow's not around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lofty. Up you go. You really gave me a big scare. <laughs> what a laugh. Oh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. You almost caused an accident. Oh, sorry, Bob. I was only playing. I didn't mean any harm, you know. Well, say sorry to Lofty, Spud. Oh, all right, then. Sorry, Lofty. Oh, um, it's nothing I couldn't deal with. It's okay, Spud. Don't you think you ought to go and scare some birds off Farmer Pickle's lettuces? Yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Spud's on the job, Bob. <laughs> All right, Lofty. Let's try it again. Yep, it's looking good. We'll be back any minute, and there's still no sign of Pilchard. What are we gonna do? Finished. Now, let's go home. Hooray! Yeah, yeah, that was really good. What's wrong, Wendy? You look as if you found a dime and lost a dollar. It's Pilchard, Bob. We've lost her. Ah! Pilchard! Oh, there you are! Oh. Honestly, Bob, I thought you said you didn't know where she was. But, 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 Wendy, I didn't. She must have been hiding. Oh, well. At least she's back. Safe and sound. I've taken care of the bills, Bob. I'll put them in the mailbox on my way home. Oh, thanks, Wendy. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh. Good night, then. Good night, Wendy. Good night, Bob. Good night, Pilchard. Farmer Pickles, were you taking Scruffy for a walk? Uh, we were on our way to the bank, but when Scruffy saw Bob's yard, he got excited. Well, Scruffy could stay here while you go to the bank if you like. Oh, Wendy, that's very nice of you. 
Grandpa, he's got his ball to play with. He'll be no trouble at all, will you, Scrupty? <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. See you soon. Okay, Scrupty. Let's play ball. <laughs> Good dog, Scrupty. Pilchard, do you want to play too? All right, Pilchard. This ball is for you. Scrafty, now look what you've done. If you'd shared your ball with Pilchard, it wouldn't be stuck on the roof. Yes, I know you're sorry. Good job, Pilchard. What a clever cat. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for looking after Scruffy. I hope he wasn't too much trouble. Not at all, Farmer Pickles. Look! What a surprise! Scruffy sharing his ball with Pilchard! Oh, that is a first! <laughs>